for passive imprinting, we're going to need a few things. Some kind of colander, something that has holes in the bottom of it. You could, I guess, theoretically just use a bowl that you stuck some holes in. A bowl that will fit underneath the colander. And then the samples of whatever you want to imprint. So these are just a little Q-tip that have the oils for scent work on them. Sagan's never played this game before, so this will be brand new to him. I'm going to take this bag. I opened the bag, but I'm going to leave the samples inside. You don't necessarily need to take them out. I'm going to put the bag open into the bowl, and then the colander is going to go on top. And all I'm going to do with this dog is take some of these tasty snacks and drop them into the colander. So as he's eating these, he's having the scent come up from underneath the colander, and he's getting that scent associated with good things happening. And right now, he's just looking up at me, expecting another treat. But that's what I want. So he looked up at me, and then as soon as he put his head back down, I'm going to mark that. And I'm going to drop another one in. So I like that he is now looking down at the treat. Or where he expects the treat will go. But you can also do this for a couple of days where you're just dropping the food into the colander. You can do this with their kibble, you can do it with treats, anything that they want to eat, anything they're gonna desire, and just drop them into the colander and let them eat above those samples. But we eventually want that to become where they'll look down And so when he does look down towards the sample, I'm gonna mark that. So I'm using a clicker, but you can also use a vocal marker. Sing, just stand up. No, thank you. So if he does anything I'm not wanting, like he pawed at the bowl. So I don't want him to paw at the bowl, so I'm not gonna mark for that. He's trying to figure out why he's getting treated because this is a new game. So he's not sure what I want from him yet. But I don't want him to pot the bowl. So I'm going to keep ignoring that until he does what I want him to do, which is to just put his face down into the bowl. And this is all passive imprinting. He's not actively understanding that he is getting an association between the samples and that good things are happening, but it's creating those pathways in his brain without him even having to work for it. For him, he's just eating snacks and putting his face into a bowl. He doesn't understand that this is imprinting on his brain, that the smell of those samples is creating positive pathways. So as he's doing this, as we're getting better with it, and he's getting more predictable with putting his face down into the bowl, what I would like for him to do, and I don't expect it in this first training session, one, I'd like him to stop pawing at it because that isn't what I'm looking for, but I'd like for him to be putting his face down into the bowl and holding his face there for longer. So I want to go from putting his face in the bowl super quick, click, and then throwing treat in, to putting his face in the bowl and holding it there for a few seconds before I click and throw the treat in. That's gonna take some time of duration. All I'm looking for right now is for him to get the basic idea. It doesn't have anything to do with the paws. It does not. There we go. The basic idea that if you put your face 
into the colander, I'm gonna give you treats. So it was a little longer that time. I'm also not sure why exactly he's scooping his nose the way that he is. So I'm not sure that you can see it through the colander very well, but he's not just sticking his face straight down. He's sticking his nose down and then scooping his nose up. And I'm not sure why he's doing that. This is all part of him figuring out what this new game is. I'm not giving him any instructions. I'm letting him figure it out on his own. So I expect that he's gonna have some other options he's gonna try, like sticking his paw into it to try to figure out if that's what I want from him. And it's not what I want from him. So I'm gonna keep redirecting that and then rewarding for what I want until he stops doing the stuff that I don't want him to do. No, sir. It has nothing to do with your feet. So I'm gonna toss a treat over here and give him a little break, reset him a bit. He's getting very excited about all this and keeps throwing his feet in there. There we go. trying to get him to stick his face in, not his feet, just his face, and I'm trying to get him to stick his face in and not do the s scooping thing that he's doing. Um, if I can't get him to stop doing that now and I have to take it out later, it's going to be harder, so I'd like for him to stop doing that now so I don't have to take it out of his pattern later on. So instead of clicking every time he puts his face into the bowl, now I'm only gonna click and reward when he sticks his face in, but he doesn't do the scoop. So just like with his paws, where I'm not clicking when he puts his paw into it, even if his face is also in the bowl, I'm not gonna click if he's putting his face in, but he's doing the scoop. He's only gonna get that click and treat when he sticks his face in on its own and doesn't do anything else with it. A lot of that pawing is frustration of Joseph not knowing what this game is and why he's not getting clicked for everything. finished. I'm going to tell him, all done. And we're going to take this away. This is something to do in pretty short sessions, five minutes at a time maximum. They get very excitable about it. They're getting a lot of treats very quickly. So doing this for an extended period of time, it's going to give them a stomach ache. They're going to get really excitable. So doing it for just a couple minutes at a time, you can do this with their meal as well. So I'm going to start doing this with Sagan in the morning when I have his kibble and I'll just throw his kibble into this. So every time he sticks his face down into the colander, I'm gonna click and drop a couple pieces of his kibble in. And that's how he's gonna eat his meals for a few days until he imprints that the scent is something important. We're gonna add duration to it as he gets better with it. So right now, as soon as he sticks his face in, I'm clicking, throwing those treats in. As he gets better with this, I'm gonna expect that he'll start to put his face in and stay there for a little bit longer. Right now he's putting his face in. If I don't click and treat him right away, he's taking his face right back out. I want to see that he'll start adding a little bit more duration to it and being more patient with me that if he sticks his face in that if I wait a few seconds he'll leave his face in there. That's going to take a little bit of time. This is the first time he's done this. So over the next couple of days I want to start to see that he'll add a little bit more duration to it until he can stick his face in there for a few seconds. Click and treat. And then optimally what I'd like for him to do is put his face in, keep his face in there, click, treat, and have him continue to put his face in there even after I've treated him. 
So when he's got his face in there and I click and treat, that he doesn't take his face back out, that he'll keep his nose in there and I can just keep throwing treats in and add more and more duration to it. But that takes a little bit of time. All I'm looking for in this first training session is for him to get the idea that put your face in the colander, click, treat. I don't want you to throw your feet in there. You don't need to be doing this nose scooping thing to just put your feet or put your face in there. And I'm gonna click and treat for that. And he did very well.